This is the third and last video about March 25 pixel drop. Thankfully, I got most of the features that are part of this update and in today's video, I will give you a real hands-on experience. So without further ado, let's jump in. The most important feature in this update is called connected cameras, which will allow you to use your older Pixel phone or GoPro as a secondary remote camera that you can position somewhere else and start filming yourself from different angles while live streaming on social media apps. But first, let me tell you what are the prerequisites to get this feature up and running. Number one, make sure all your Google apps are up to date on this phone and the secondary phone and also your GoPro camera if you have one or else the feature won't work. I only got this feature on my Pixel 9 Pro XL after updating two apps, the cross device services and Pixel camera services. Step two is to head over to settings and then connected devices, then connection preferences. And you should see this menu item called connected cameras. When you go inside, you need to turn on the switch. Here it will give you a couple of links from the Pixel Tips app on how to connect another camera. And then you have the list of supported apps. But I found a very important piece of info on the Pixel Tips app. It says here compatible devices, Pixel 6 and later, excluding the A series devices, which is something I didn't find in the Google support article online, but I only found here in the Pixel Tips app. And when it comes to GoPro, it supports from Hero 10 and later. And finally, there are some important information you need to keep in mind. Number one, all devices should be signed into the same Google account. You can connect only to one remote camera at a time. And then the audio is sourced from the camera that's currently in use. And using a Bluetooth audio source may degrade the streaming quality. And now let's put it into action and see how it works. So here I have the Pixel 9 Pro XL, the Pixel 6 Pro, and the GoPro Hero 12 Black. And all you need to do is to open the relevant app. In this case, I'm gonna use an Instagram as an example, and then go to the Live tab. And once you do this, you will see this bubble here on the side that will allow you to switch between the cameras. The current device is labeled as My Pixel, and it has this Material U animation around it. And let's start by adding the Pixel 6 Pro as a secondary camera. When I tap on Add Device, it says here I need to activate the Cross Device Services. So I need to go to settings, turn on the switch and to make sure that my Google account is the same on the other phone with the cross device services feature also activated under settings. And then I will go back and try to add the pixel device. So as you see here, I have a couple of phones showing in the list, but I have the six pro over here when I tap on it. I will get this screen on the 6 Pro. It will ask me if I want to use the front or the back camera, and then I can grant access. Once done, you will see the live feed from the Pixel 6 Pro here on the screen. When you tap on it, it will first give you a three seconds counter, and then it will start the connection. And as you see here, I'm using the front camera, but when I switch to my Pixel, it will give me the same counter and then switch back to the 9 Pro XL, which is currently using the back camera. You can also switch between the front and the back cameras on the secondary phone using this switch here at the top right corner. As you see here, I can switch between the front and back, and at any time I can stop the sharing from here. Let's try the GoPro camera. It's currently turned off, so let me turn on. The best way to achieve this is to download the GoPro Quick app and then connect your GoPro camera to it and make sure the camera software is up to date or else the feature won't work. Once you update the camera software and then go back to the same bubble, the GoPro camera should be one of the available options, but I have to stop sharing first on the 6 Pro for the GoPro to get activated. And when I tap on it, it will give me this loading animation and then it will start the feed from the GoPro camera. So now the GoPro is connected and it's giving me the same three seconds timer. And here you go, this is a live, a live feed from GoPro. But as you see, it, there is a bit of delay when I use the GoPro camera. It's actually much better when I use a Pixel phone as a secondary camera. Here I have a little bit of delay as you see here, but it's not really bad. You can live with it. 
So this is how the connected cameras feature work and now let's get back to the other features. Back to the pixel drop in the recorder app when you go to the app settings and scroll down a bit you will see a new toggle here called auto transcribe. It says here when your audio files are backed up to the cloud and missing a transcript, recorder can automatically generate a transcript for you. Moving to the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, now it supports the dual screen mode while recording videos and this is how it looks. And the same applies to the Add Me feature. As you see, the dual screen mode is still active when I switched. But keep in mind, I only got this feature after updating Gcam to version 9.8 and I downloaded the APK from APK Mirror because it's not yet available on Google Play Store. Moving to the Pixel Studio app, even though I didn't get the option to create photos of people, but I started to see some suggestions on the front page. But when I go inside and try to do some edits like changing the style, it gives me the same error that the ability to create human images is coming in the future. So. I still didn't get it, but we can see now that the app is capable of doing this. For the rest of the features like talk live about the photos, videos, and files on Gemini on the Pixel 6 models and later, the screenshots, app suggestions, and the Find My Device app location sharing, I didn't get these three features, but I will talk about them in my future Google Apps updates episodes when they get released. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when it happens. So that's pretty much it for today. These are all the new features I wanted to show you in March 25 pixel drop. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.